We are here, we are here, we are here on this amazing day. Okay, everyone, this is Cam Jones, FX Daily Analysis, and we are marking up CAD, JPY. We are on the monthly time frame. Price action, last candle to the right hand side is a bearish red candle. We do have price action overall, higher highs. Price action overall, lower lows. Midpoint. Also adding second level lows. And third level lows. So let's zoom in the price and see what's going on. So price action on the monthly time frame is a bearish red candle. It is pushing down from a pattern at that high near the resistance line or on the resistance line. If price works its way down further, price can head to the midpoint of the black SR lines, which would be at the number of 92.709. Before tagging that area, can't tag the midpoint of that current price to the resistance. And that's breaking the numbers of 98.45. If price decides to respect this area, draw back for reversal or retest. Market can tag that midpoint area back at 101.688. And if price breaks out the number of 105.379, it can tag that area at that high at 109.123. So let's take a look at what's going on in the market. So if the market pushes up further from where it's currently at, uh, market's coming from uh, multiple pushes. So at that low area, let's pull back. We have an overall structure. So let's pull back. We have that market did push down that area. So that market identified that overall first, second, third, fourth, retest. Market pushed out once, retest, and market pushed out there twice. So all together, just in that area, market's coming from a quadruple bottom or triple bottom of the retest. After that, we did receive the overall retest. Market did push up once. So we're looking for price to see how far it's gonna draw down to see if it's gonna push up uh, further. If so if we're looking for the retest to at least the midpoint of that area for that market to respect that support that is headed to currently right now with the bearish red candle, for that market to push and break out or at least head up to the area of resistance of that higher high that we create in that area for that market to break, retest, and then work its way up further. So overall, if that market does push us down from that area, we had two major spikes up to that resistance. So that market, once that market did break into that area, came back to retest, if that market works way down, we do have an overall first leg, second leg, third leg. We see the engulfment to the previous uh, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, the last candles in the market and price broke out that area. And now we can see that market's trying to create that double top, that incline double top and push down to at least the midpoint, see if it's gonna be respected for that market to push up. If not, we would see that market break, retest and work its way down further. Overall can identify a double top and a retest. Also near price in that area, we can see a patterns forming. So we do have that uh, pushing up with in green for that first leg, second leg, third leg, fourth leg, retest, 
Market's pushing down overall, double top and a retest, triple top in that area. Market's breaking currently. So we're looking for that market to see if it's gonna retest uh, in this area at that midpoint and work its way back up unless we receive that break. So if when we head closer to price action, we can clearly see that price is between our SR lines. So we're gonna see what's going on in that area. Is it gonna be respected for that market to come back up or is it gonna break down to the next support level? <clears throat> Headed down to the weekly time frame. <clears throat> on the weekly time frame, we have price action as a bearish red doji side by side with the second last candle and a bullish green doji pin up to the top. So the weak candles. So what's happening with that market is identifying that after they identify that double top at that high. So we have that first, second, third, fourth break of that SR line retest market pushed. And now we had a double retest with the price in second and we went in for price to break out that area to see if it's going to push down and we're looking for another follow-up with another pre retest for that market to work its way down further if not market can work its way up if it's respected at this area so that i'm identifying that coming down in red we do have that first leg second leg third leg so if it follows up with the bullish green candle head to the resistance line we'll see that w formation look for the retest for that market to work its way up further Headed down to the daily time frame. So price action on a daily time frame. So also we know that we are in the midpoint of an area. So we're gonna add our SR line. So taking a look at what's going on in this area, we can see we have a major area of consolidation with price second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth candle in the market, last twelfth candle in the market is all consolidating. So we're going to see if that market is going to break out the area. If so, we'll see that market coming from that first, second, third, fourth. So we got to have a break in the support. That's a retest. Market push once, retest again, market push twice, retest again. We're going to see that market is going to push down for that third time and push and break out that area. If not, then market's creating a new pattern in this area. So identify as we'll talk about down the four hour time frame so we can see it much more detailed. So on the four hour time frame, before we see the pattern that's trying to push up, we know that we're on an SR line. So we're going to put a zone around that area a little bit above, a little bit below. And we're going to take a look at what's going on. So we can see that market into that area. So this market does work its way up. It's respecting the zone area. So which is identified that market did respect first leg overall, second, third, fourth, uh, retest overall, market pushed up, uh, retest again. So we're gonna see if that market's gonna consolidate at least a little bit before it comes back up. If so, market's coming from a double top, uh, triple top and a retest or quadruple, uh, excuse me, triple top and a uh, triple bottom and a retest or a quadruple bottom and market pushes up in that area. So once it's headed up, to that resistance line and break that resistance line, we are looking for the break and retest for that market to push up further. Walking down to three. So on a three hour time frame, price in second just consolidating. So what happened is the market just pushed up and just came back to return. So we look for a pattern to identify itself in this area. So we're looking for the breakout to the last two candles in the market, two hour time frame, same as well. Looking for the engulfment to the price second, third, last candle. What it's reading is that the market broke, just came back to retest. We're going to see if it's going to push down further and break out, or is it going to identify uh, the first leg, second leg, uh, third leg retest, and it pushed up for that W formation. 45 minute time frame consolidating within that midpoint of the zone, uh, midpoint of that zone and the support. So it's hanging out at a second level uh, lows. 30 minute time frame, still receiving that consolidation. 15 minute time frame, same as well. So we're looking for that pattern to start forming in this area to see what's gonna break out that little cluster. Headed down to the five minute time frame, looking for the break. So if it pushes and break out, you'll see that M pattern. We'll draw it out on a three minute time frame for that overall first, second, third, the market pushed out. Headed down to the one minute time frame. Same as well. So market's breaking the midpoint. So we're looking for a break and retest for that market to push down.